Alright, welcome back to another video. Let me tell you, like I said, when they engage in cognitive warfare, we talk about the use of the internet, use of social media, the manipulation of social media, the manipulation of uh, information on the internet. And if you're not, uh, if you're not studied enough in terms of how they engage in these type of warfare, then you know <laughs> they're they're you're, they're only going to. Uh, continue to uh, degrade your your mindset and your mind even further and a lot quicker. So I just got upstairs, went on Facebook, and I saw that I had a um, somebody sent me a request. I click on it. It says first of all, it says law enforcement. That's what it says, law enforcement. So I didn't want to go back just in case um, you know it doesn't show up. It might disappear like many times that they've done before. So again, let's talk about the use of the use of white women. There you go. All right. And again, uh, with the with the color behind it, the green, the vegan, color green, what have you, right? Again, all stuff about green, giving them a choice, right? Be gay, and we'll give you money. But no, you know, again, not for this, not for me. This is giving me a message about Pam. This is they sent me some message about Pam, about her being, you know, bisexual, what have you, whether she choose men or not, or what have you, and you know, she go with a white woman. Like I said, they'll send they'll send white women and white men into black spaces or into black people's lives in order to create havoc and to cause the destruction of the relationships and to uh, between the men in their groups and the women in their group like I said you got to understand the mindset of white people and their relationship to us as black people they have a psychopathic and sociopathic relationship when it comes to us in terms of they believe that they can do whatever they want to do to us okay but we can't do anything to them now all right so let me go back here and see what it says here. So look what it says, law enforcer. Now when I clicked on that, right, I clicked on it. That's what came up. When I clicked on it to accept, that's what came up. So let's see if I click on this again, what will happen. Okay, look. Now this comes up. You see, this is the reason why I didn't want to um, go back and... You know, I started to record. I wanted to record it from right there because I knew that what they were, what they were going to do. Why? Because it happened many times before, and I was never able to record it. So, like I said, sometimes I have the presence of mind to, you know, remember and to do what I need to do in order to prove and record what it is I'm saying. Okay. So again, you're a law enforcer, but you have a vegan utopia. That don't make any sense. You know, I want you to understand how they mass their targeting. Okay. And you're, you're, we're not just a store, we're a movement, our mission to empower self-expression, unity, exclusion. Uh, unity, in inclusion. Okay, so why not have, say vegan utopia? Right, because that's what this is in, on the shirt, right? Why the law enforcement? Because you know why the white racist, and if you let me look at this picture here, the white racist, and look what's on his shirt. Look what's on his shirt picture of a gorilla now mind you these people look more like gorillas right and chimpanzees than we do right see black people we have full lips right we have they they have furry hair we don't have furry hair okay now they may look at this and say, well, black people have I can show you white people have flat noses too and every white person has has, has a, a, a long straight nose okay <laughs> so yeah but anyhow again just 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 to you know make it be known and then look 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 <laughs> look you got the the pan-african uh map of africa yeah we know y'all colonizers want to go back and and re-enslave africa okay we know that motherfuckers <laughs> anyhow um i am going to uh unfollow this clown Okay, that won't do it. I want to see this. Oh, look. Look. What happened? What happened? What happened? Hmm? What happened? Hmm? Your pendant invites? I didn't invite anybody. I got a, I got a, I got an invite. Okay, that's what I got. <laughs> but again, I want you to show you guys the manipulation and the tricks that they does use 
in order to send this subliminal message, right? This is what is called psychological warfare, or in, your, in the new definition of what is called cognitive warfare. All right, talk to you guys on the next video. See, it's just still trying to get, look. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let me see something here. No, not there. Let me, let me go, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys what I was talking about earlier. So let me do it. Let me, let me take this opportunity to, um, again, educate the people, all right? Educate the people. All right, so here is Bible Gateway. And we're going to go to King James Version, Numbers 12, right? Miriam and Aaron sp speak against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he married, okay? Now, you would think that Moses is white, right, from what they show you, right? What Hollywood, what Hollywood show you, what all the, the images in the books that they've, they've written and they've, you know, all the images that they've repainted as these people being, being white, and they're not okay for he had married an ethiopian woman and they said had the lord indeed spoken by moses had he not spoken also by us and the lord heard it oh so back then the lord will actually hear certain people speaking right and then will come down and be like hey, da, 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 da. but yet it also tells you that no man has seen the face of the lord right and then you had the the, the Israelites saying to Moses, uh, uh, you know, um, let God not speak to us, but we will surely die. Okay? Again, contradiction. Again, you got to read your Bible, and you got to study your Bible, and mark the contradiction. Okay? So anyhow, uh, now the man Moses was very meek, right, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation now what congregation there's only three of them there right so obviously a congregation meaning that you know they were speaking amongst themselves right not like where you have a whole bunch of people in, within the church they call the church congregation all right and the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the doorway of the tabernacle. So I guess God riding down on the cloud, right? <laughs> and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. Now, why did they call? Why did the Lord call only call Aaron and Miriam? And He said, "Hear not my words. If they be a prophet amongst you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision." We know He wasn't speaking about Miriam because He said him. But we know He wasn't speaking about Moses. Because he, he only called Aaron and Miriam. Okay? But yet, Moses is the one who ended up being a prophet of God. What happened to God being all-knowing? What happened to God being, God? you, you Christians saying, God knows all things? Hmm? Anyway, uh, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is faithful in all of mine house. So God is saying that his servant Moses is not his prophet. He's not a prophet. Okay? With him I will speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches, in the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Therefore, uh, therefore then, were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Again, that it does that doesn't make sense. Okay? <laughs> right? He's asked the Lord is saying to them, Therefore then, were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Speak against Moses, why? And for what? Alright? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold. Miriam became leprous. White, no one says it, leprous, white as snow, meaning that she was something other than white. Okay? And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. All right? And. All right, just had a little interruption there. Anyhow, so as it says that 
Miriam became leprous. Right? She became white as snow. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sins. Why am I getting that? Oh, that's from Aaron. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Okay? So, I'm going to read this again. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us. So why, why is he turning to Moses and saying, I beseech thee, lay not the sins upon us? Remember, God has already left. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? But again, God is all knowing, all hearing, and he did hear them talking and he came down but yet he don't know who his prophet is and he's saying that his prophet is not moses okay oh, yeah uh wherein we have done uh foolishly and where we have sinned let her not be as one dead okay so why would light what would white skin be associated with dead meaning that one who have no knowledge okay again you got no history one who's and again this is us as black people here in america and and in the world today that the majority of black people are dead meaning that they don't have consciousness okay they don't have consciousness this is why they are afraid of anyone who they consider to be a christ meaning that a person who has come into consciousness right again consciousness anointed with knowledge what have you your priest would be a christ because they have all they used to have all the knowledge right um anyhow uh so let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb so again showing a baby have no knowledge no consciousness okay baby in the first a couple of months of the baby's life it's on instinct it's survival on instinct and of course you know i mean the mother feeding it what have you all right and moses cried unto the lord saying heal her now O god i beseech thee and the lord said unto moses oh see see first god had to come down to speak to them but now this guy went back up in the cloud all of a sudden he's speaking to them he's speaking to moses now right now, why is he speaking to Moses when he just said Moses was not his prophet? If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Again, but why punish Mar Miriam? What did she do? Okay. Let her be shut out of the camp seven days. And after that, let her be received again. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Like two bites uh, 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 on. Come on now. I'm trying to do a video here. Thank you. All right. Anyhow, there you go. Go read it yourself. You see it again. Read it yourself. Read it over and over. Think about it. Think. All right. Don't believe. Think. All right. Talk to you guys in the next video.